like finding a Tim Hortons in the U.S. Yeah, kind of pushing yeah, that would it. Just be weird. Kind of pushing I've it actually there. been one in New York City. Oh God, it was terrible. I'm quite confident they exist. I'm just saying they're they not like a thing. No, they do exist, but they're not as good as the ones here. Trust me, you know it's bad when the when we have to repeat double double all the time to the to the cashier and she has no clue what we're saying. See, I don't say double double. Well, like What's a double double. Double double. double. It's uh, the two milks, two two sugars. That's the it's the special coffee that they. It's like the traditional coffee. It's a tra traditional Canadian blend. No, it's two sugars, two... We just say double-double. Double-double. Two yeah. sugars, two milk. It's not complicated. Yeah. Double, okay. double, double sugar. And don't even get me started with the Timbits. How hard is it to make Timbits? They're just donut holes. Friggin' no. Dunkin' Donuts has them. Oh, they make it like... No, even the way they make their donuts, it's disgusting. Like, they make it, like, gross. It's like half-rate Dunkin' Donuts. Well, friggin' America has Krispy Kreme, so that's hardly their fault. It's whoever's in charge of the American Tim Hortons is. Yeah, exactly. It's when are we known for the better sweet stuff? We don't even have yeah. to count Chocula, man. We it's don't even have... You don't? We don't, <laughs> no, have, we don't. We don't have most of your cereals. It's a nightmare, like, James. Like, there was one time, I think last year, that Count Chocula briefly came into Canada, and I bought, like, five boxes. God, it's so good. It's so good, and we no, never every... are allowed to have it. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah but it'll yeah, make you twitch like a menace. <laughs> no, but we're not even allowed tricks. A happy menace. Trick sucks. No, trick. I love tricks. Like every time, I go to the, I, I, every time I go to the U.S., like I always make sure to stop by at like a Walmart or a grocery store to always get tricks. Are you sure like, we don't get tri tricks? Yeah. I'm fairly certain I've seen tricks. Maybe it was no, just I'll... another temporary thing. Maybe, well, I, I'm for, for sure not in Montreal, but, like... In, I'm in Ontario, so... Well, you're it's, closer, like, it's the closest thing, like, you're more closer to the U.S., so maybe, but... We only recently started getting, like, multiple different flavors of Mountain Dew. For the longest time, all we had was regular Mountain Dew. Yeah, but, like, yeah, true. Yeah. So far, now we're, we're getting, like, a cup. we're getting, we got Code Red, we got Voltage... We got we got Voltage, we got Code Red, we got that orange flavor. Live Wire. You got, got an orange one? Yeah. yeah it's Live Wire, yeah. Yeah, it's good. No, you should try, try it. That. It's, it's really good. Suck. It's yeah. really good. I need to try that. I need to find it. Get Mountain Dew Live Wire, it's really good. And I saw one in the store recently called Baja Blast. Mm hmm. I, lo I, I don't know the, whether that's a permanent thing or not, but a, I gotta try that's, that. That's the Taco Bell Mountain Dew that's exclusively at a Taco Bell, and they're doing it for like summer only. Really? I, I saw it at a gas station. I think I tried the Baja Blast. It's, it's actually like really key good. lime or something. Yeah, it's in the yeah. U.S. It's only at Taco Bell, but during the summers they release it in cans and bottles. Mm. Mm, nice. I am a Mountain Dew connoisseur, so I know my yeah. Mountain Dews. I really love Mountain Dew. I wish we got more of it, more variety. Yeah, same, same here. I love Mountain Dew. <laughs> my favorite's the Code Red. Yeah, oh yeah, Code Red's amazing. Actually, my favorite is the Voltage. That's yep. like a dream in a, in a can. <laughs> oh man, that's good stuff. Oh yeah. What the, about you, James? One... You got a favorite Mountain Dew? Hmm? Do I have a favorite Mountain Dew? Yeah, that was the question. Yeah. Mountain Dew. Straight up original. Oh regular although the one is regular no. although Fair one enough. thing i i would love to do with mountain dew i wish we could stop that stupid that stupid stereotype that only like like low life gamers only drink mountain dew and stuff like that like the neck beards like can we stop that stereotype i don't know if that's necessarily a stereotype like you don't see a lot of those characters in the commercials right i mean i see them like being like the college young people type because it's like a young people drink well, yeah, but, like, they always say, like, it's kind of a, like, they always make that as, like, a trope for, um, for, like, neck beers and stuff like that, that they, dr like, they only feed on, on Doritos and Mountain Dew. 
I think the idea is that because the companies market themselves to like teenagers and stuff, and oh, like to gamers and stuff, are, are, are thought as being of as being like really immature. So like they're associated with immature stuff like Mountain Dew, as opposed to the classy shit like Dr Pepper or whatever. I don't know. I never think of these associations. I I just sort of think soda is soda. Fine champagne. Yeah. Is well, is thanks. fine champagne gonna make you dress classy? No, it's just gonna leave you a hundred dollars uh, missing in your wallet. <laughs> mm-hmm. Something like that. Yeah, I tried champagne. Eh. Not an alcohol person. Yeah. In general. I only drink during. I only drink socially, anyways. Neither am I, unless it's hard. So you like you alcohol well if it's alcoholic enough. That makes sense. Of course it does. <laughs> I like it hard. Well, like a dessert shot is a nice and Wait, actually, nice before and anyone says no. anything, I need to take this moment and say that's what she said. Blame <laughs> for that. Drink your Mountain Dew, Matt. Jeez. I don't have one. I'll use this Rubik's Cube as a Mountain Dew. That doesn't make sense. And also, that thing looks disgusting. I wouldn't put that in your mouth. Yeah, I mean, a fan sent it to you, but you never hey, know where Dana, it came from. You just remind me of another classic Canadian thing. Like, look at that thing, Matt. Look how look how dingy that looks. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Ta-da! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Cinema Royale... The Cinema Royale podcast presents things that we put in our mouths. I got. Oh God. Lifesaver gummies. Sponsored by Disney Sumsums. That my sister got from the movies the other day and then forgot they existed. So wow. I've only got two left. They're good. Are they like? <laughs> Okay. All right. So we're doing a warm-up mini topic, even though we just okay. talked a bit. I thought this was the mini topic. I thought our mini soda was going to be about Mountain Dew and gummies. And putting things in our mouths. Yeah, friggin'. We got served, Thanks, guys. Thanks, please. Canadian foods that suck and American foods that we're not allowed to have. I thought that was the topic. You know what? Fuck it. I just... Oh. Actually, that that actually just reminded me. If we're actually if we're gonna go on with this, it actually did remind me of something. Mike, do you think? Would you let me or like? Go ahead. Do you want to do an? No, no. Go ahead. That's actually quite you know interesting. We don't have much in Canada. A variety of Oreos. Yes. I'm sure we got Oreos and we got birthday cake Oreos and we got vanilla Oreos. They're still available in the U.S. Like those special things, they're limited editions. Like, I, I, I can get them easily. They've got friggin' birth Oreo ice cream, birthday cake Oreo ice cream. I think you're just your problems are just limited to Montreal. Probably. No, but I was shocked when I saw like there were like tons of varieties of Oreos when I went to a Florida grocery store. Like not only do they have uh, like uh, you know they got like the regular golden and the regulars. They got like half and half. They got double stuff. They got triple stuff. They got giants. They got minis. They got birthday cakes. We get. They got like all sorts of flavors. It's just crazy. I just really want Count Chocula back, man. I just want my tricks. They also briefly released Frankenberry, but I didn't like that stuff. Did you try Blueberry? They didn't release Blueberry. It was only Count oh. Chocula and Frankenberry. I don't know if Blueberry even exists anymore. Do they don't they also had didn't they had like a werewolf one also? Not since like the nineties. Cat Chocolate and Frankenberry, mm -hmm. those are like the two that are still around in America. I've honestly never tried like, like Cat Chocolate or Frankenberry actually. Oh my god, it's the best cereal in the whole world. It's chocolate cereal with chocolate flavored marshmallows. Like it's amazing. <laughs> it is an experience. <laughs> It's better than sex. It's better than, like, sex and Disneyland combined. Like, it's so good. <laughs> double, double toasted approved. Better than sex. 
<laughs> it's a double double. <laughs> and we bring it all together. It comes full circle. That's one of your favorite things to say, isn't it? It comes uh, full double. circle. Oh, full circle. It comes. I full love it when a when a plan comes full circle. Oh, that was a plan comes together. This was a plan? Was this planned all along to talk about what Canadians don't have, or at least I don't have, as food? See, this is what happens when you don't come in with an idea for a mini-sode. We end up talking about Mountain Dew and Count Dracula. No, no, it's, it's when you guys start talking about something. I have something in my head worth talking what about. Is your... it? What is uh, it? Okay, what's our, God, what's our topic? Thing. Something really stupid, but come on, do it. Whatever, man. Mike, we talked about we talked about grocery food. Come on, what's your idea? We were just keeping it natural. You're the one that's like trying trying to tie us to rules and a script, trying to keep the man down. <laughs> what script? There's no not tying down. Yeah, yeah, Jake. A free you know what? bird. What script? A free bird. Just <laughs> yeah, okay. Going with the flow. Doing the do. I'm sorry. Yeah, do the do. Oh man, live wire. You gotta get that shit. Live wire is really good, Matt. You should try it. And I gotta try Baja Blast. No, I would everybody's love, homework. There's I would a... love to do um, live wire. I would love it. What's the live wire? The it's orange the stuff. orange. Mm. Baja Blast is the, the turquoise looking stuff, which turned me off of it at first because I thought it might be watermelon. And I hate watermelon. Really? Oh, I would I would actually try that out. I've never heard of like Super only no. like only Asian like only Asian drinks would have like watermelons. Oh, oh yeah, the Japan market and Supernova was a Mountain Dew that came out briefly in Canada and it was strawberry watermelon and I yeah. wasn't fond of it. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. No, be, and, no, because Jada, I don't know if you remember, that was because it was like part of a contest. Yeah. Because yeah. It, it's part yeah, of the really democracy. Like the, the flavors, democracy. Supernova, Supernova Code white Red, that being the uh, yeah, and white out. Though, like white out just tasted like lime soda. Like white <laughs> that's out, all it know. tasted like. Oh, you know what it was? White out is literally Crystal Mountain Dew. It was crystal basically Dew. well, technically there is a Mountain Dew Crystal now. That's like yeah. a Mountain Dew that's crystal color. Yeah, but crystal like that, color that, so that, clear. That's what the whiteout was. It was Mountain Dew Crystal. It wasn't clear though. It was white. It was like white liquid. But there's actually like there's actually on market a clear Mountain Dew that's like it's called uh, Dew Shine. Voltage won the first time, which pissed me off because I voted for Code Red. But then they brought it back a second time because Code Red was really close, and then Code Red won, and now we have them both. Yeah. Well, aren't you happy now? Original, caffeine-free, diet, caffeine-free diet, code red, diet code red, live wire, voltage, throwback, white out, Johnson, C Johnson City Gold, Game Game Fuel Citrus Cherry, Game Fuel Le Lemonade, Baja Blast, and Solar Flare are at currently available drinks on the Mountain Dew line. Yeah, see, I've never heard of half of those. Well, throwback mm. is just basically the classic, like, bottle and stuff like that. Yeah, it's with added sugar. Because <laughs> there wasn't enough sugar, apparently. It's not like it's one of the most unhealthy sodas ever. <laughs> it's like, um, ah, that's not what I meant to it's say. It's a soda. Why are we discussing about the health benefits of a soda? I'm just saying, it has, it's, no, it's known for having more caffeine than Coke or Pepsi. And more sugar. Really? So it's like, it's unhealthy as far as sodas go. <laughs> Must be why it's so popular. Probably. Hey, if it works, it works. If it sells, then uh, mass market that crap. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of discontinued uh, dues like uh, Pitch Black, which was uh, a dark purple colored grape flavor. There's even a sequel called <laughs> Pitch Black 2. How do you make a sequel soda? It's fun. The sequel flavor to Pitch Black released a year later. Is it the same flavor? Uh, this too was a grape flavor, but was different from the original Pitch Black flavor, as it was a sour grape flavor. 
that honestly does not sound as appetizing, to be very honest. Uh, honestly? honestly? Yeah. Yeah, Supernova was strawberry melon, yep, like she said. Did okay. not like Supernova. Uh, let's see. Voltage, of course, was good. I think I liked Supernova. It's not bad. Yes, Voltage was good. There's a lot of gamer feel, like game yeah. feel for those. Well, so. yeah. Wouldn't it surprise me? Um, by the way, Mike, yeah. may I guess there's a Game of the Year edition? Uh, well, back up here. There's a uh, Mountain Dew Game Feel, which was World of Warcraft Alliance Blue Edition. There was a World of Warcraft Horde, Horde Red Edition. Um, That's another thing. Mountain Dew sponsors a lot of video game companies. So it makes sense that they would tie video games with Mountain Dew in a lot of fiction. Because they're like this. So it's not so much a stereotype as it is product placement. Uh, yeah. A throwback. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Mountain Dew Geoff Kingley edition. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain Dew what edition? Geoff Kingley edition. Geoff who? Uh, he's he's pretty much a well-known uh, video game journalist. He has there there were times when he has been in controversies where like he would he would just be a total sellout. Ah, uh, I don't mm. know nothing about video games. I like Batman and Mario and Pokemon. It's not really video games, it's video game journalism, but... Yeah, Why would I know about video game journalism if I don't know about video games? <laughs> Why would that exactly. interest That's what I was about to say, so, like, don't ask questions. Don't, 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 don't ask questions. It's GF team, you do ask questions. Okay, I was thinking the... he was, like, a character, like, in a video game. Like, I was picturing, like, this smarmy Johnny Cage character. Oh, he's anything but smarmy. Oh, that and also, like... he is... He is bland as all hell. Like, he has no expression on his face. Sounds a lot like Johnny Cage. <laughs> so there, there was other game feel. There was a uh, Mountain Dew game feel, Cherry Citrus, which is the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 edition. Uh, tropical flavor, same Call of Duty edition. Oh, I remember this. this. There was a limited edition mixed berry flavor called Mountain Dew Dark Berry. In promotion with The Dark Knight Rises. Mountain Dew is plugged in, man. Yeah, really. Mountain Dew's a total sellout. <laughs> there was a uh, Game Fuel Citrus Series for Halo 4 Edition, Dead Rising 3 Edition. Holy crap. Yeah, I think I might remember a few of those, actually. Because Not... I remember there are times when I would buy, like, um, Mountain, Dew, my, Mountain Dew cases, and they would always feature, like, codes for. Halo or Call of Duty and stuff like that. None yeah. of these flavors came from Ontario. None of them. Uh, Apparently, Call of Duty doesn't care about their Canadian audience. No. I was okay. I Maybe it's just an Ontario thing. Maybe I should back up and see what we're in Canada. Because there was a couple of them that said Canada. Because I know Whiteout was 2014 in Canada. Uh, throwback, if you don't know what Mountain Dew Throwback was, it was a variation of Mountain Dew in the U.S. containing natural sugar in place of high fructose corn syrup. Wow! Real sugar, man! I, I Does that make it healthy or what? I don't get it. It's a little bit, I mean, high fructose corn syrup, whatever the fuck it is, is really unhealthy. So natural sugar is just a little better, I guess, I don't know. New Big Mac now with real lard. <laughs> <laughs> New Big Macs now come now comes with actual animal inside. No, that's not the joke. There? Also, <laughs> McDonald's has effectively done that. So. What? Try to pr try to prove that there's actual animals in the food. Don't you remember when like it, it was a, such a big deal that real white meat was now being used in chicken nuggets? Like, that was a real thing. So. New chicken nuggets, now with real white meat! That was a thing. <laughs> you can't make a joke like that if it actually happened. Yeah. Wait a minute. Douche. Oh my god. Wait a minute, there's, there's new... There's uh, new I think that actually says more about the fact than, like, my joke, actually. Because under normal circumstances, it should be just a silly, dumb little joke, not a real fact. <laughs> 
Oh, I didn't even know there's there's new sodas coming out. There's a Mountain Dew Black Label coming out. A Pitch Black Three? Uh, pitch Harder? Damn, would, this franchise is getting like more thin. It would no, be a Pitch Black Resurrection. It would be a dark berry flavored soda, and the color is certainly unknown. And what berry? Just dark berry? Like yeah. black berry? Is it Anthem sponsored? Oh. Is it? No, it's not. Actually, it's... I could... It's not. It's a way. Actually, I'm actually. Oh, okay, God. it does. It does coincide with the deep, deeper, darker dew promotion that's coming out next month. So, it's a promotional thing. It's in the U.S. I guess. Doesn't. It's, oh, wow. So. Actually, I, actually, I'm surprised that Mountain Dew didn't do an advertising for Pixels. Actually. Uh, <laughs> you think they would jump into that crap? It was not stupid enough. To themselves with Happy Madison. Come on, they have some standards. Oh, there's yeah. there's some more gamer fuels coming out. There are a lot of fast food joints that'll associate themselves with Happy Madison. Friggin' Subway will do it, Pizza Hut will do it, Pepsi will do it, Mountain Dew yeah. won't do it. Yeah, true. There's... Well, technically, if it, if Pepsi would do it, then Mountain Dew would do it because it's under Mountain Dew is under Pepsi. Maybe, but their specific soda has not shown up, and the, the it is yeah. technically. There are sub ownerships and stuff like that, which would have true. some to say what gets advertised where. Yeah, it's true. So and also, Sodi's marketing team is not really the best. No. Like, oh my God, they're embarrassing, actually. So, so there's been rumors of these testings of you know for Mountain Dews. There's one of them that's l lemonade and ginger that was being tested around college campuses, and another one you're gonna be thrilled here is or shocked is Doritos. A Doritos flavored Mountain Dew that's being taste tested in, in U.S. colleges. I've well, heard of those. Before. That's, that's old news, man. No, I've heard of those that before. Was, actually. That was that was shocking in May. <laughs> no, that was shocking last year. Really? Uh, oh. Yeah. It, it was twice. Late 2014. Yeah, it's last year. I don't know what you guys know. Like. Dude, that sounds. Get with the times, bad. Mike. Mr. <laughs> Slowpoke meme. I mean, that's kind of, I don't know, like, a part of me feels like it's kind of gross. I like Mountain Dew, I like Dur Doritos, but they, they shouldn't be mixed together. I don't want to drink Man. liquid Doritos. Man, that's nothing. Liquid should, Doritos? That is nothing. You should see the shit that Jones Soda pulls, like, all the time. That's Jones nothing. Soda? Jones Soda. It's their shit. Don't ever drink them. Wait, what's Jones Soda? A, a shitty soda company that frequently has savory flavors. Don't you know Jones Soda, the, the 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 one and true soda brand that Brad Jones dry, tries? <laughs> oh, wait, oh, Brad would try them. I don't yeah, know, maybe a, there's a little maybe bit I... of a hint as to what is in store for you in the world of Jones Soda. Like a oh, lot of a lot of savory. Oh. Do they all have stupid pictures in front of them? Yes. Yes. I, I tried Jones Diet Cream Soda once. It was disgusting. It was the worst thing I've ever tasted that was carbonated. Like no. soda water is a better experience. I don't think I want to Jones try that. Diet Cream Soda. Yeah, I think I'll pass. 